Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Game of Thrones. Sorry. I Every time. I, Game of Thrones. Hi there, I'm Dahid and Ogla, and today we're going to be watching the Game of Thrones. Hope, uh, hope you like it. But, alright. So, Game of Thrones. Um, last episode, uh, last episode we got a lot of, uh, got a lot of, um, you know, background stuff going on between a lot of different sides. Uh, so, right now, Cat, uh, Catelyn Stark believes that Tyrion is the one who sick, who sent the assassin because the knife formerly belonged to him. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, Ned is in the capital and is trying to find out why why John Aaron is dead. And then, meanwhile, so, you know, Arya is uh, training with the little yeah. mite, little mini sword with Needle. with the tiny little man. Yeah, that guy's tiny. He's almost he's almost as short as Arya. Yeah. And she's and she's like a kid. It's crazy. And then well, she uh, may be a tall kid, we don't know. Well, I think she's grown up to be a taller kid. Uh, I know Sophie Turner, I think Sophie Turner uh who plays Sansa, I think right now she's like 5'9". Oh jeez. She's she's a tall lady. But honestly, we're still get we're still getting into the meat of mm -hmm. uh, Game of Thrones and uh, so far Heather's enjoying it yep <laughs> all of these uh, crazy storylines and uh, dragon dragon eggs and everything well at least episode 3 didn't rip my heart out at the end that's true that's very true you're gonna learn very quickly about Game of Thrones very easily you will have your heart ripped out very easily alright so without further ado here we go Crows, the ravens, they call to you, boy. You know something about that raven? No. It had three eyes. The little oh, I did notice that. Again. If I was cooped up all day with no one but this old bat for company, I'd go mad. Anyway, you don't have a choice. Rob's waiting. I don't want to go. Neither do I. But Rob's Lord of Winterfell, which means I do what he says and you do what I say. Hodor! Aw, Hodor. Hodor? Hello, Bran. Do you remember anything about what happened? He has no memory of that day. Curious. Will I really be able to ride? You will. On horseback, you'll be as tall as any of them. Is this some kind of trick? Why do you want to help him? I have a tender spot in my heart for cripples, bastards, and broken things. You've done my brother a kindness. If you like redheads, ask for Rod. Come to see me off, Greyjoy. Kind of you. Your master doesn't seem to like Lannisters. He's not my master. No, of course not. Anyway, don't despair. I'm a constant disappointment to my own father, and I've learned to live with it. Your next tumble with Roz is on me. I'll try not to wear her out. Roz is that one girl from the first episode that you said had no shame. Oh. That's her. The one, as you said, had great boobs. Good. <laughs> now pivot as you deliver the stroke. Put all your weight behind it. What in seven hours is that? <laughs> I've come to take the black. Come to take the black pudding? <laughs> <laughs> well, you couldn't be any worse than you look. Damn it. I thought he was going to be real good. On your feet. Pick up your sword. <laughs> He yielded. Looks like the bastard's in love. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? No. <laughs> well, they know what it's like to fight him before. Yield, yield, yield. I yield. The people saw us talking to him. 
Now the thing we're cowards too. Too stupid to be a coward. Well, you're too stupid to be a quick now. Before summer's over. Come here. Boys will be boys. Caldrogo's marching the wrong way with my army. Pretty full of himself, isn't he? He sure is. Someday, your husband will sit there, and you will sit by his side. And one day, before too long, you will present your son to the court. All the lords of Westeros will gather here to see the little prince. They were killed on the orders of King Ares, yes. The Mad King. Commonly known as the Mad King. Why were they killed? You should speak to your father about these matters. I don't want to speak to my father, ever. Sansa, you will find it in your heart to forgive your father. No, I won't. Did you know that Lord Varys is a eunuch? Everybody knows that. Yes, 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 of course. How that sort of person found himself on the King's Council, I will never know. I'd take it out of your time. No trouble at all, my lord. It's a great honor. Thank you. I'll find my own way out. Can I be Lord of a whole fast? You will marry a high lord and rule this castle. No. Hmm. That's not me. Ah. Oh. Ned's not a winner all the time. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sir Alice has said I'm to be your new watch partner. Sir Alice is going to make me fight again tomorrow, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh. I'm not going to get any better, you know. Not with that attitude. It can't get any worse. <laughs> I sell talks too much. Oh, he never stops. Do you know Sir Hugh of the Vale? Not surprising. Until recently, he was only a squire. John Aaron's squire. A Baelish. Perhaps I was wrong to distrust you. Distrusting me was the wisest thing you've done since you climbed off your horse. Thing about the capital, everyone's listening to everyone. Yeah. Everyone. There's a knight, you see. Ah, a knight. They strut around like roosters down here. Even the ones who've never seen an arrow coming their way. You shouldn't be out here, my lord. There's no telling who has eyes where. Let them look. I always came to see the boy. I'd like to see him as well. As you wish, my lord. Gendry! Here he is. Strong for his age. He works hard. Look at me. You see a resemblance? No. Get back to work, lad. Find anything? King Robert's bastard son. King Robert, very... suffers from wandering dick. Sam's no different from the rest of us. There was no place for him in the world, so he's come here. But if Thorne puts me up against Lady Piggy, I'm gonna slice me off a side of bacon. <laughs> oh, no one touches Sam. That's a big ass dog. Here. Scary one too, an albino. A good pupper. Oh yeah, very good pupper. 
What are you waiting for? Hit me. Go on, hit me. <laughs> Worst acting I've ever seen. Worst acting ever. That's so funny. I'd rather have a friend. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Stop Do it. it. Turn me into one of them, wouldn't you? Next, I want to braid my hair. You've no right to a braid. You've won no victories yet. You do not talk back to me. You are a horse lord slut. And now you've woken the dragon. The next time you raise a hand to me, will be the last time you have hands. Am I right? I like her. I know for a fact that some of the officers go to that brothel in Mole's town. I wouldn't doubt it. Well, don't you think it's a little bit unfair? Making us take our vows while they sneak off for a little sally on the side. But I like girls just as much as you do. <laughs> they might not like me as much, been there, buddy. I've never I've been there. Been with one. Came very close once. I was alone in a room with a naked girl. Didn't know where to put it. I know where to put it. Was she old and ugly? Young and gorgeous. A whore named Rose. You don't want to know. What, that good? Better. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, they share the same sense as you. I'm just my saying, name? if I'm going to suck on something, they better be good. <laughs> and why is my surname Snow? Because. I mean, do you want to suck on bad boobs? Me name. No. Exactly. I don't know if she's living me or either. Dead. They need to be good boobs if I'm going to suck I don't on know them. If she's a noble woman. You can quote well, me on that. Well. All right. So I have a story after this show is over. How much longer do we have left? Okay. Like it. 10 minutes. Like 10, 20 maybe. All 10. Could think was it always me. ends at like 50. What's if it got so pregnant? So that's why he's a virgin. He doesn't want to bring another bastard. Potentially bring another bastard into so, the world. He didn't know where to put it. <laughs> <laughs> Lovers quarrel. I'm sorry, do I? Sansa, dear, this is Lord Baelish. He's no An man. old friend of the family. I've been sitting here <laughs> for days! Start the damn joust before I piss myself. <laughs> I know someone who's like that. This is Nate. What? Uh, yeah. Well, jousting was very popular in medieval times. Ooh, shit. Ooh, boy. Well. My man can sleep in the stable. As for myself, I don't require a large room. Shoot him a moment. We have nothing. Is there nothing I can do? Lady Stark. What an unexpected pleasure. I was sorry to miss you at Winterfell. This man came into my house as a guest and there conspired to murder my son. A boy of ten. To help me return him to Winterfell to await the king's justice. Easy now. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Well. There you go. Yeah, that was sure an ending. <laughs> to an episode. <laughs> Jesus. So Tyrion's in some deep shit. Yeah. I mean... Which I don't like him anyway, so whatever. You don't like Tyrion? No. Why is that? Is he, I just you... don't like him. Too He's much like of an, an asshole. 
Well, he's a cynical prick. I mean, that's kind of his thing. Yeah, I don't like pricks. Eh, they have their benefits. Like, for instance, they're more direct. My story was that one time I was at a restaurant with my friends. Uh -huh. And I have my... We were in, like, a booth, and my waitress was walking up to my left behind me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know she was walking up. And we were talking about how I was bisexual. And I go... I mean, sometimes I just like to suck on some titties. And I said it loud enough to where my waitress heard me, sat down the drink, and immediately turned and went back. And she wouldn't look me in the eye for the rest of the night. And that's where I learned to stop talking about sucking on titties. Okay. You, you, you see, I don't mention it, like, out in the public sphere. Well, I was also, like, 18 at the time. Yeah. And if drinking. I, if I could, if I could take back all the things I said when I was young, I I. Mm. I used to have a hookup for getting mixed drinks at restaurants. Ah. Not not a fake ID, just like a friend that worked there. Yeah. So, yeah. I was drinking and stuff as well, and yeah. That shit happens. Yeah, I mean it was fine. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. So. The <clears throat> the overall thing I'm picking up from the okay so who are some of your favorite characters I know Arya is one of them I like Arya and I like um, Daenerys Daenerys yeah. yeah Daenerys is a Daenerys I like a lot I like the fact she stood up to her brother in this episode yeah I was I actually said in my getting cultured that I wanted to see her become like this strong independent woman and she's definitely doing so oh she's she's learning that she doesn't have to be a subject that she can actually have a backbone and say screw you to her brother yeah some people I mean I relate to that some people think I got rebellious I think I just learned that I didn't need to take shit, shit anymore well I yeah I just let you... people walk all over me and now I'll like speak up for myself and people are like wow you're not rebellious so I'm like not really no it's just you learn you learn that you don't have to go on what other people say about mm -hmm. you know you you forge your own path in life. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, there's there's always people who are going to say, "Oh, it's a rebellious streak." Don't worry, it's just a rebellious streak. You'll get over it. Um, here's the kicker with uh, rebellious streaks. Sometimes it's a phase. Like case in point, my sister was in a phase where all she would do was listen to country music all the damn time. That's all she wanted to do. That's all she'd listen to. She'd swear up and down that she was nothing but a good old country girl and all this and all that. It lasted all of about a year. <laughs> and then, next thing you know, uh, next thing you know, she's playing, My neck, my back, li Never mind, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go, go to the lyrics of that. Uh, it's... I can't hear that song without, like, the me theme in the background now. Yeah. Bump, 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 bump. My neck, my back. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. It's so silly. You gotta love it. If you ever wonder what's going on inside my head, it's the me channel. <laughs> just that song. just that constant dun, loop dun, of dun. music. <laughs> just all the time. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> yeah. I... Actually, I'd like to see a Game of Thrones meme with that over it. That'd be funny. Cause, could you imagine, like, a sword fight? It's like, do-do-do-do. <laughs> <laughs> I love That'd it. That'd be so funny. This, show, this show's pretty good. I can't wait to get further and further into it. Oh, the longer it goes on, the deeper the rabbit hole goes. And <sighs> it gets crazy. At least it was nice to me today. Oh, yeah. Both episodes you watched today didn't have horrible tragic endings that made you just question what am I doing with my life <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh god that reminds me of that one time I was actually at a I was actually at a screening for a movie uh, I was a Kevin Smith I was a Jay and Silent Bob super groovy cartoon movie mm -hmm. and I got to ask Kevin Smith a question and before I went up there a girl asked him a question like like that was very serious and everything. He's like, you know, I'm just sitting here and I want to talk about, you know, it's a funny little animated movie. And then people come up to the microphone and ask questions like, Kev, when the fuck are we gonna die, man? I mean, 
I mean, what's going to happen when we die? And I just wanted to talk about the movie. And then uh, he also commented around her Ren Faire outfit. And uh, he looks over at me. And he says, hey, where the fuck's your Ren Faire outfit at, man? I mean, honestly, I want to see you come back as like a squire or something. And I'm <laughs> like, and I'm just like, I was like, all right, I'll, I was like, give me a couple minutes. I'll come up with something. And uh, he, and I asked him the question and everything. And it's, it's just <laughs> funny, funny enough. Gosh, where was I? I? Dang it, I had a brain fart. I had I had a connection to this. Now it's gone. Hey. It's stupid. And then I found $5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just go Ben's class. Today. I'm trying to remember uh, how I was going to tie back in. I, I had the I had the route in my mind, it's and then okay. it was like a landslide just like knocked the, knocked the route out of the way. It's like. It's getting late. Yeah. We've I'm, done a lot yeah, of I'm recording. late. It's tired. We've done a lot of recording today to make sure that this gets taken care of on the way. So yeah, we're we're doing our damnedest. We're we've, trying. We've damage. watched a lot tonight. Yes, we have, and I got to go edit all these. And I'm tired. Yes, you are tired. I am tired. Y'all might be tired too, or you're maybe just waking up. And if that's the case, hey, um, sorry. And. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you're getting the edited version. Uh, if you're watching this on Patreon, Early Access, hey, thank you for the support. And if you want to uh, watch the full episode, uh, you know, unedited and all that fun stuff, then uh, feel free to check out the uh, link to our Patreon down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Also, don't forget to check out this awesome lady's channel, Miss Guns for Hands. Her channel is down there as well. And, uh, yeah, also check out our Discord where shit gets crazy. Should get cray. Because it's 2,000 members. Every time I join, something crazy is going on. It's That's how it goes. All right. Those so, kids. So thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Heather. This was Game of Thrones, Season 1, Episode 4, Cripples, Bastards, and Broken Things. We'll see you later, everyone. Peace out. Me too. <laughs>